Welcome to my yoga class. My name is Christine. So we're going to stop by doing the downward dog. And ground yourself firmly through both of your index fingers and bend your knees halfway to the floor and now lift them up. And take your front thigh to the back of your thigh and really press down through your heels and pull the shoulders away from your ears. You lengthen the spine. And you can just let your head hang. Start pedaling a little bit and loosen up the muscles and joints if you feel a bit tight, especially in the morning. Plank pose. Inhale, cobra. And your back legs are really strong. Now exhale, back to downward dog. I'm going to walk your feet to your hands. And inhale, lift your heart, flat back. And exhale, fold. This is really therapeutic, standing forward bend. You can stay here for a little bit longer if you would like to. Try to straighten your legs, but at the same time do not lock your knees. Keep the knees softened. And just let your head hang, relax your face, relax your eyes. Now jump back, Chaturanga, and inhale Cobra. Your back legs are really strong and ground yourself firmly through your pubic bone. And your shoulders away from your ears, really pull your shoulders back and lift your heart. You can start swimming from side to side and it's really nice and gentle warming up practice. Just follow your breath. Okay, now tuck your toes under, come back to downward dog. I'll bring your left foot in between your hands and then come up to the side angle pose. Really press into the right uh, the outer edge of your right heel and lengthen your right leg. At the same time, really lift your chest up. I'll come back to downward dog. We're going to practice on the other side. So bring your right foot in between your hands. So a side angle pose on right side. Press into the outer edge of your left heel and take your right side into your right hip socket and really lift up, open up the chest. Okay, come back to the plank and chaturanga. And inhale, coming up to the cobra pose. Exhale, tuck your toes under to downward dog. jump and flat back lift up your heart and fold inhale reach your arms to the sky and exhale palms together to your heart so now we're going to practice the white angled standing forward bend so take white stance and reach your arms to the sides inhale hands to the hips lift your heart and exhale, fold. Try to internally rotate your thighs so you can widen your sit bones. Help you to bend a little bit further. Now inhale, lengthen your spine and come up. Now we're going to practice goddess pose. And your legs are really strong. Try to stay here for a little bit longer if you can and really lift your heart breathe okay, 
it slowly come up. Now we're going to practice the pigeon pose. If you have knee injuries or any problems on your knees, please practice the sleeping pigeon pose by lying on your back. So um, if your hips are not really flexible, if hips are a bit tight, so you're going to place a pillow under your femur, under your thigh bone. So in that case, we can make both. Uh, we can square your hips. You're going to ground yourself through your back foot. So in this case, it's just ground yourself through your right foot. And try to take the right hip forward and your left hip back. And this is a really nice hip opening practice. Then you can also just practice this pose on its own when you have time. Okay, now we're going to change sides. Okay, place the pillow or cushion or folded blanket under your right thigh bone. And ground yourself through your left foot. So take your left hip forward and your right hip back. So your hip is squared and even. And just make a pillow and Feel the opening sensation of your hips. Okay, now slowly come up, please lie on your back and we're going to practice the happy baby pose. And this is a really nice pose to gently open up the hips. So you're going to take your tail to the directions of the floor and really press your thighs down. So allow the hips to be opened. The eastern view of the anger and resentment is that when our negative emotions have no place to go, they tend to stuck in our hips. So by opening up the hips, we can actually release all the negative emotions out of our body so we will feel much more positive and happier afterwards. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you are feeling happier and more relaxed. Namaste.